No more NATO? Well, maybe. That seems to be the message from U.S. Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump. In an interview with the New York Times, the Donald argued that coming to the rescue of NATO allies in the event of an attack should depend on just how much money they're willing to spend on their own security. Right now, the U.S. contributes over 3.5% of GDP, a whopping 22% of overall NATO military spending. And that's not all. Trump also reiterated his call to keep American troops out of foreign wars. He says it's a waste of money. And that puts him more in line with President Obama's foreign policy than that of his predecessor, George W. Bush. As for current events, Donald Trump also heaped praise on Turkey's president, a man critics say is using a coup attempt to consolidate power, detaining, arresting or suspending more than 60,000 people in just five days. So just how should U.S. allies respond? Well, when it comes to Donald Trump, it seems they'll just have to get used to it. For CNBC News in Istanbul, I'm Hadley Gamble. Hey, CNBC fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Here you're going to find videos packed with all of the information that you need to be smarter about your finances. You can subscribe by clicking right here and click on all the videos around me or the eye right here to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.